Hi everybody, it's Christy. I'm back and I'm going to do another hair tutorial. Today's hair inspiration comes from the beautiful Janet Lee. I set my hair last night in pin curls and now it's time to take them out. Let's do it. All right, here we go. All right, all our pink curl clips are out, so let's run our fingers through it. So, because in the photo that we're going off of for today, Janet Lee has this beautiful fluffy bang section. So I'm gonna section my bangs now so that I get them out of the way and so that I don't fuss with them too much because I am just some, doing something else with them. So, sectioning. And I'm gonna roll them right back up. So I rolled them in a giant pin curl, that's pretty much what that is, and I'm going to pin it a couple of times to secure it to make sure that it doesn't go away, because I have a lot of hair. Alright, so that's secure for now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to brush this out, and then we're going to go from there. Her In the picture, Janet Lee's hair is very silky, so we're going to try to avoid frizz today at least on this part. I'm already getting some frizz, so let's combat that with some pomade. And I'm brushing it again. For this uh, style, I'm brushing it all under so that it lays together nicely. Grabbing some more pomade. All right. More pomade. All right, here's our last section. All right, so this is laying very nicely. It's very sleek and smooth today. That's kind of been the theme lately, if you haven't noticed. Um, just going for some elegance a little bit. All right, so our hair is all brushed out and our curls look lovely and glamorous. So I'm just gonna scoot those off to the side for now because now we're gonna work on the bangs. And um, Janet Lee's bangs in the photo are quite large, quite fluffy, um, like Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. They are very, very prominent. All right. So brushing through, getting more pomade to combat this frizz a tiny bit, even though in the bang section, frizz is okay. So, I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do this bang section, so I'm just gonna experiment a little bit. First, I'm gonna 
try one method. So I'm bending it. What I'm doing is pretty much folding the hair. I hope that made sense. So I folded it. And I'm trying to open up bobby pin. And it's going to be hidden, so don't worry about it. And I crisscrossed it. And I folded it, so folded it once. Now, here's this lovely thing. And I folded it back on top of itself. So, we could do something like this and just maneuver it. So it kind of looks like bangs a little bit. And we could fuss with it to get the placement that we want. That certainly works. Let's try another method. I'm going to do the unthinkable for me. I'm going to start teasing my hair and we'll see where we go from there. So I'm going to pick up a section. And I'm teasing at the roots. I'm teasing only a little bit. Not all the way up to the shaft of hair. I'm going to spray it. Taking another section, taking it straight up, teasing, and then I'm going to spray. And then our last section, straight up, teasing, and spraying. All right. Now, another method that we're going to try to create these beautiful fluffy bangs is we're simply going to try, well, we're going to first just lightly brush the outside so that it looks nice and smooth. Since that is a huge component in vintage styling, if you do tease your hair regularly or at all, make sure for vintage styling especially that the outside is smooth. The part that will be seen is smooth. So again, I just kind of folded it. I took it up and I folded it over. I guess that's the method we're gonna go with today. So we're just gonna fold it, but this time I haven't added any bobby pins yet. I had trouble making up my mind. I apologize for that confusion. So now I am bobby pinning it in place. I kind of like how this is looking. And I'm hiding my pins as best I can. Right now, this is how it looks with only two pins in it. So you can do a lot with two pins. Now I'm going to fuss with it a little bit and I'm going to smooth the outside. Because I definitely don't want any flyaways and that's kind of what's happening. Taking more pomade. And these bangs can be as big and fluffy or as subdued as you wish. It is all up to you. That's one of the great things about vintage styling. Of course, you start with a photo or in a star or anything. You start with an idea and then you go from there. It's very creative. That's why I love it so much. All right, and I kind of have this lovely shape and then I guess a very large pin curl behind it. Didn't end up with, I didn't mean for that to happen. Just kind of did it. All right. Still working with this a little bit. I'm gonna fan it out. So 
so that it looks more like straight across, pardon me, straight across or blunted bangs. Add a couple more pins for security. My hair likes to spite me whenever I feel like something's looking really good and I keep finessing it, my hair decides that it's not gonna work anymore and that's exactly what happened, so I need to start over. All right. All right, so let's try this bangs again, these bangs again. <laughs> Words are hard. Okay, so I just kind of rolled it like I roll my pin curls, but instead of just a tight one, I fanned it out so that it spans across my forehead. Now it's time to pin. Oh, it's getting crazy. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Let's try it again. Maybe my hair's too long. I don't know. I'm not going to live by that rule. I can do what I want. This time, let's try a different technique. I'm gonna roll it like a giant pin curl. Just kidding, no I'm not. Okay, so I guess this is kind of like a giant pinwheel, so to speak. Alright, I'm gonna take my hands away. Kind of just have to fix that little bump that's going on here. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better about these bangs. So I'm gonna spray it and see what happens. Alright, nothing bad happened. So let's accessorize and we will finesse as necessary after that. I'm gonna take my lovely yellow chiffon scarf, it's kind of my favorite, and I'm actually gonna put it over this little spiral that we made. 
And today I'm gonna tie it under. So I'm gonna scooch all my hair out of my, excuse me, hair. Since I have a sensitive head, I don't wanna get any of my hair tied into this bow because that hurts so bad. So I'm tied it once, I'm adjusting as needed. I'm already gonna add a couple pins at the bottom so it doesn't move. And one feels like it's gonna do the job, so here we go, I'm tying it the rest of the way. I'm just tying it in a bow. All right, the rest of my hair can come down now. Now you can fine tune and brush and prod it as much as you want. All right, ladies and gents, that's it. This is our Janet Lee inspired hair. As you see, we have some lovely pin work, pinwheel faux bangs going on, and of course, pinning your chiffon scarf as you need it. Um, they usually try to slip off my head, so I'm probably gonna add a few more pins, but you can brush this to be as fluffy or as smooth as you want. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. I feel like I've been a little bit of a space cadet in filming lately with all my ums, my filler words, and general silliness. I apologize if there's any confusion. As always, you can find me on Instagram at Pin Up Disney Princess, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye!